<laughs> hey, I'm PJ Antonic from Oak Development and Design, and we're gonna go through the next several weeks showing you four or five projects we're working on. Some of which are spec houses like this one you see here that we're paying every cent to build. How's your $90 hammer? That's so much easier. Others that we're working with customers to build their houses. The goal for us is to share really what this business is all about. Inspection number one, down the drain. Remember kids, don't try this at home. We're professionals. I want to share the reality of what we do, how we do it. I'm teaching Ernie how to do Instagram stories. We strive to deliver a product that's a lot unlike anything else on the market. We look to build turnkey houses. We don't cut corners. We do it right, we do it right the first time, and we make decisions that's on brand to what we expect and hold ourselves to every single day. Heart of Oak is brought to you by Timberland Pro. Always do, never done. By Pella Windows, perfectly beautiful. And by Cam Appliance. Make your next appliance a Cam Appliance. Okay, over at the uh, Hersey Street job, we've got the roof going on today. They're about half done. It's a pretty door. It's like total chaos here. I've got Ernie driving the excavator. The roofers are here. They put the windows in. Doors are showing up. Nigo was here today putting the backsplash in. That'll get grouted in the next couple days. And we actually did a full herringbone through the entire room, which the tile guys were not happy about because it took a lot more time. We're gonna have the kids unload the truck. Is that cool? Yeah. Just start sliding the trim off and put the trim on the ground. Pretty psyched where we're at. But first of all, it's sunny, so it's been a, it's yeah. been a rough winter. Yeah. <laughs> that probably hasn't helped things. No, yeah, the, but... winter, the winter's been tough. Ah, the lovely New England. The storm has wreaked a little havoc on us. Oh, Our yeah. temporary power pole at Hersey Street was on the ground with no meter in it. <laughs> Tons of work to get it to this point. This is solid ice. It's just a constant struggle, mother nature and winter here in Massachusetts. It's um, definitely slowed us down, as you know, as we've discussed over email. Things are happening. I think by the end of this week, we should have all the windows trimmed out. We should have the uh, garage doors trimmed out, all the interior walls done. We've never done a new construction before. <laughs> and it's amazing when you go from the plans, which is a 2D on paper until you see it going up, so. It's starting to really look more like you're rendering. It's gonna be green, right? The house. Yeah, it's gonna be green. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people around the neighborhood seem to think it's gonna be green. We love it, and, and, the, and the farmer's porch, I think it'll help the front elevation, but it's also something that we look forward to sitting out on the front porch. Yeah. <laughs> um, totally, I mean, it's gonna be great. You're gonna have a big square over there. Yeah. Lots of space for chairs. Hopefully a nice swing, I'm some so Adirondack sure. chairs. We'll be drinking margaritas right. while he mows the lawn. That's right, that's right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Like we talked about, there's, depending on where, but there's somewhere between six and eight inches of stone kind of throughout the whole thing, and then two inches of sand on top. We're gonna install a legitimate good sump pump. Such a better sump pump. Yeah, that would be great. And pipe it out to the pit that we're doing outside, so. Okay. You know, you won't have to worry about water in here at all. All right, so this also got poured yesterday. All right, looks nice. Nice big garage. Um, really high ceiling. Here comes our slider door. So there's your, there's your patio door. That door's going in today. This door's going in tomorrow. So there's your door. Justin's about to install it. We actually ripped off the stock trim and we're putting trim to match everything else on it. Okay. So this will have a header like everything else. Okay. So did we get painted black? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, we that. painted black. All right, now we get upstairs. So we're starting to take shape. All strapping one on the ceiling. This will be our daughter's room. And then the bathroom and then our son's room on the other side. You got more windows, she might be mad about that. And then on the back side here, we've got 
laundry room. Now I walk through the toilet room door into our master bathroom. I think it looks great, and I'm certainly glad that we have a higher ceiling yes. in the bedroom. I wish it was another inch or two, but we have to, it is what it is. We had to triple the beams under here. I saw it in the garage. Get, I mean, it was like, we had to have, we had to push the beams in from the back with the excavator. Thank it's you. it's way better. And it's this way will better. be for us the world's biggest closet, which, which we're looking forward <laughs> yep. to. So the world's biggest closet here. Remember, you said you want to make a statement with your master, right? So we definitely want to go, you know, some sort of unit on that side and that side. And then the question is, you had talked about upgrading for an island in here. Maybe we do the island off of this, and you do like sides and a front because there's not a lot of room here. 100%. Yeah, right? we were thinking the exact same thing. It's too narrow to put something there. All right, third floor. It's just amazing how much has come along in the last two weeks. This is exciting. This is gonna be the bonus game room for the kids to come up here. We're thinking about having like a craft area. Our daughter's really big into crafts. Awesome. Slime. Uh, yes, we've got more slime at home than to do it. <laughs> So now imagine like by the end of the week, they're mostly out of here. And now we have sidewall guys, HVAC, plumbing, electric, all start next week. So in like four weeks, we should be like putting plaster up. And uh, I found this online yesterday and it piqued my interest. So Susie's here to show me around. We're gonna take a look at it. It's pretty rough. Hello window designs, they're tested from minus 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and subjected to wind-driven rain. They're even engineered to stop hurricane debris from penetrating your home. All with distinctive style. Pello windows and doors, perfectly beautiful. For traditional to modern homes, choose our Architect Series wood windows, now with a limited lifetime warranty. Selecting the best appliance for your renovation could be a lot of work, and Cam Appliances is here to help. We have the largest selection of appliances in southeastern Massachusetts, and it's our pleasure to help you select the best appliance for you, your home, and your family. Right now, with Cafe Remodel Rewards, save up to $1,500 off via mail-in rebate with the purchase of a customizable Cafe Appliance Suite. All the newest features in one showroom. It's going to be so easy. Make your next appliance a Cam Appliance. Okay, so we're at the vocational school today. We came by to check out the status of the tiny house. But even more importantly, our friends at Timmerland actually sent us a bunch of boots to give to the kids. Super psyched. I don't think they really know that that's happening. We've got a little bit of material to drop off for them when you need to go over uh, the door. I ordered the door the other day, so we have to talk to them about that. So this is the one piece you guys need, right? Tom. What's happening? It looks awesome, oh, man. We're doing good. It's Let's unbelievable. Get to making great progress. Don't mess with her, huh? All right, so we got Lexi. Mitch. Mitch? Christian. Christian. So what are we doing? Uh, putting on siding. Putting on siding. All right, let's put it up. I'm just watching. I'm not doing anything. I asked very last minute if we could throw together some sort of electrical locker, because I need a, a spot to keep my you know, cord when I'm not using it, right? And look at this. So this is the electrical box. Basically what we did just to install it. We found the center of the box and the wall. 
and then we put the center of the box to the wall. Nailed it in all throughout here. Or screwed it in all throughout here. Yep. And then uh, what do we do? What are we thinking for a door? Well, we hadn't really thought of it, but we're going to make a double door because that's a big single door. So yep. we'll make a double door and we'll have to put some type of flashing so the water doesn't get into the top. Well, nice work, man. Thank you. And this, is, this so. has turned out to be the best decision I ever made. At first, with the instructions, they kind of look at you like, oh, man, until you get the job and they start, it's easy to teach. Now yeah. it's easy to teach because there's a project here for them. This is a great group of kids. You pick the good group, perfect timing. Wow, I picked the perfect, perfect school. timing. You know, I picked... Perfect timing, great kids, um, and it all works. Yeah, it, it worked really out does. great. Okay, so as you guys know, Timberland is a big supporter of this project. In fact, it was their idea when we first met about collaborating with them to bring a vocational school in to help with one of my projects. And I said, well, I have this great tiny house we should just drive it down and have them work on it. And, and so they were actually the inspiration. And so as a thank you, they've actually sent us a pair of their new Helix Pro from Timberland Pro boot for every single one of you guys. Christian and Ryan size 11. Thank you. You're welcome. It was totally their idea. They were like, we want to hook everybody up. And so here we are. You've got, a, nice. I think, what, 14 pairs of them. Nice. It's awesome. Nice. So I can't even thank you guys enough. It's it's coming out exactly the way we wanted. I'm super psyched. I hope you guys are having fun. A little blessed. And it's a little cooler than a shed. Today we're here in uh, North Weymouth, Mass in this little kind of cute little neighborhood right on Boston Harbor. And uh, I found this online yesterday and it piqued my interest. So Susie's here to show me around. We're going to take a look at it. It's pretty rough. When I walk up to the house, the first thing I really kind of take notice on is the most expensive item. So windows, siding, doors, roofs. <clears throat> the whole deck is leaning off to the left side. You know, these are the big items we look at and try to quantify in our head as we're walking around, like what, what is this really gonna cost me? But then you see something like that and you realize there's a lot of potential here. You've got a lot of water view. You've got a great little backyard. This little garage here is totally salvageable. I mean, look at this deck. It looks like an accordion. The thing that I like to do is look at the bad and think of it in a positive. All of this is fixable. How can we get through it and you know take what everybody sees as the worst and turn it into the best? It's kind of the way I approach everything. All these ceilings have to come down. Pretty shot. Oh my god. Good storage space. The chimney is totally workable. It's in very good condition. So the big question is cleaned up, what can this fetch? If we if we PJIZed it, every time I turn it goes down 10 grand. Jesus, I get it. <laughs> $4.99. $5.29. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. If it, can you increase the square footage? We could put a balcony on the front. That'd be cool. I, I mean, we could put a whole deck up here if we reframed the entire bottom. I don't know if it's worth the money. You're going to have to rewire it. You're going to have to rip the roof off. You can see what's leaking now. I'm into this for 150 grand. Yeah. Easy. I have to pay less than 300 for this. I'm, I'm torn on the siding, you know, like it's not in the best shape. Do you rip the siding off the whole house and start over? Oh man, look at this over here. You see this? So the rot there, something's living in there. Yeah. That's a problem. You have no choice. You, re, you redo the siding and the roof. This is the basement, huh? Wow. All right. Hopefully we don't get attacked by anything under here. So it actually looks like a lot of the house is rewired, which is a good thing. The mechanicals are actually in pretty good shape, which is shocking. I don't know. Every time I turn, it's like less, it's worth less money. Yeah. Do you want to just feel her out? Sure, absolutely.
Mid Cape Home Centers carries a large variety of Jeldwin doors, including fiberglass exterior doors, that are built to withstand the rigors of our coastal climate. To learn more, go where the pros go for experience that builds. Mid Cape Home Centers. Hi, I'm PJ Antonic, owner of Oak Development and Design down on the South Shore. Since 1848, Mountain One Bank has been serving local Massachusetts communities. Mountain One has been our trusted partner for lending since we started our business and has worked with many of our customers both on long-term mortgages and residential construction loans. Whether it's keeping a balance on a checking account or helping us on a multi-million dollar bill, Mountain One Bank helps keep us moving forward every day. So today we got invited down to the Mid Cape Home Center corporate headquarters on Cape Cod. And what we're gonna do is uh, go in and actually get a review of their estimating software, their engineered um, wood manufacturing software, and also their shop, right? Yeah, we're gonna get to see where they actually put everything together, where they come up with their designs and put our orders together. Yeah, so we depend on them heavily to help us determine our estimates and all of that. So we're gonna go in today, we're gonna check that out and kind of get an overview of what they do for us. Okay, so we're here today with Kevin Longhart. Kevin is our estimator at Mid Cape Home Center and he's gonna walk Jarrah and I through how we take our plan, send it to Mid Cape, and Mid Cape actually does what we call a takeoff, giving us every piece of lumber we need to the exact linear foot, <laughs> perfectly, and a price list accordingly, so that we can then take that and insert it into our estimating of the whole project. One of the things we can do with the programs that we have, we can actually physically take the, we can actually take the plans in PDF form. We can overlay everything you need right on the plans. Hmm. If you look here, you can even see some of the drawing underneath. This is literally a PDF, the PDF of the plan you sent to us, mm -hmm. with the materials overlaid right on top of it. And by color, you can see these are cross-referenced directly to a material list on the side to show you exactly how we got the numbers that we got. And so then the other systems that we use is, is for our manufactured beams. So I use a lot of manufactured beams because it's a lot cheaper than steel. So you're gonna take the plan that we have and then adapt it to the system that you guys use to figure out what size beams we need? Yes. Actually, this program is a lot more powerful. We can actually model the house. We're not doing an actual overlay necessarily. We actually build it from the ground up. Okay, so then once we have the takeoff done and we get the list from you guys, then at that point, our sales rep, Rob, is gonna take it and what, what are you doing with it at that point? Uh, I'm reviewing it to see if there are any special orders on it. When you give me a plan, I have to do a cover sheet and send that along with the plan. So I'm checking, you know, what do you want for trim, you know, siding, roofing. Rob, tour? Yep, what would you like to see? Do you want to see the store or just the yard? Or? We're going to show you the what shop. What would you like to see? I'd like to see the shop. Okay, so the shop. So this is where all the magic happens. Joe, nice to meet you. Joe, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Looks like you've been busy in this place. So we're in the custom millwork shop, right? So you're doing everything here from pre-cutting window packs to custom millwork, right? Yes, anything from custom trim, custom millwork, out of any PVC, wood, anything you want, maple, oak. So, so when we walked in, I saw this bracket which caught my attention because I've needed some of these brackets in the past. Yep. And uh, I either try to find them at like a salvage shop, sure. or I, you know, buy something off a shelf online or something. But they're actually really tough to find. Tough to find. That's something that we can fabricate for you fairly easily. Uh, just a simple shop drawing with some dimensions, and we can put them together for you. Okay, so this is something we see a lot in New England: of pergolas and I have not put a lot of them up because they're really expensive. And on my projects, I'm footing the bill and then selling. Sure. And so um, in a custom home situation, it's a much more desirable item. The next project, Squirrel Hill, I'm gonna have some of it, and I don't know where to start because I haven't done a lot of pergolas, okay. and it's clear that you guys do. Yep, so uh, what we have here is just a uh, four by eight uh, fur. We cut the pergola tails, these are false tails. It's a pretty simple thing for us to do in the shop. Again, a tougher thing to do in the field, something we can do here. Uh, pretty efficiently with a bandsaw and a router. 
Awesome. Well, Joe. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate this your is, time. Uh, it's great to meet you. See uh, where all the magic happens. You know, I had never known the capabilities of what you guys do here, so I'm psyched we came by. Back of the house is completely new, so everything on the back of the house is redone, and then above the kitchen was added on, and obviously the deck is completely new from start to finish. Selecting the best appliance for your renovation could be a lot of work, and Cam Appliances is here to help. We have the largest selection of appliances in southeastern Massachusetts, and it's our pleasure to help you select the best appliance for you, your home, and your family. Right now, with Cafe Remodel Rewards, save up to $1,500 off via mail-in rebate with the purchase of a customizable Cafe Appliance Suite. All the newest features in one showroom. It's going to be so easy. Make your next appliance a Cam Appliance. Hello Window Designs. They're tested from minus 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and subjected to wind-driven rain. They're even engineered to stop hurricane debris from penetrating your home. All with distinctive style. Pello Windows and Doors. Perfectly beautiful. For traditional to modern homes, choose our Architect Series wood windows, now with a limited lifetime warranty. Quick, reliable orders and deliveries are hallmarks of Mid Cape Home Center. Along with quality brands like Gelbin Fiberglass Doors. Aurora Fiberglass Doors that can be customized for any home. To learn more, go with the pros goal for experience that builds Mid Cape Home Centers. Okay, so the time has finally arrived and Crow's Lane is done, we're out. We've done our punch list, everything's wrapped up. And honestly, it, it came out great. It was a really tricky job. It was our first real official large renovation for a homeowner, because typically we do stuff for ourselves. But these guys, came to us after seeing our first Hersey Street job and they were really excited about working with us and they were too nice and too excited about it for me to say no. So we did this whole thing in about six months. It ended up being about a 1500 square foot addition, full gut, full rehab on the outside. I will say in the end of the day, the blend of old and new and all the work that went into it, it, it came out exactly the way that it should have and I'm, I'm pretty happy and excited and psyched to be surrounded by good people who helped me get it done. I'm walking past the addition here, which we dug in January, which was a nightmare. With an old house like this, we've got a field stone foundation, right? So when we dug the hole, we were really nervous it was all gonna cave in. Luckily, it was strong enough that it didn't, but we got through it, we made some mistakes, we overcame them. And what you see is the addition that eventually is gonna branch off into the garage down the road. Back of the house is completely new, so everything on the back of the house is redone and then above the kitchen was added on, and obviously the deck is completely new from start to finish. I love using mahogany. You can't beat it, you can't beat wood. And then we, of course, we used our Azek rails, our Azek uh, trim throughout the entire house. Their goal was to have a deck that they could entertain and they could enjoy this awesome big backyard. So as part of that, what they asked us to do was to build a post for a light so the boys could be out back playing soccer during the evening. They could be up here having cocktails, cooking dinner. So the thing that's cool about a renovation like this is we're taking a house from the early 1900s and we're adapting it to, to today's lifestyle and modern technologies, right? So bringing in elements like speakers on the, on the deck and plastic trim, Azek rail systems, it's gonna give you the benefit of long lasting material with little maintenance. But what's cool is we took the old house 
We built one onto it and you never know from the street. It looks like one continuous siding. Everything matches and blends well. One other thing that the architect did a great job on is they wanted the upstairs room to look a little bigger and to have more, more breath in it. So when he designed the upstairs room, they asked him, hey, you know, this room's a little small. Is there a way we can make it bigger? And so he did what we call is kind of a garrison where you have the overhang. We see that a lot of multifamily projects and no one really likes the look of a garrison. It just doesn't look great. So he did two things to spice it up. He made it a gambrel to match. So it looks like just a big dormer sticking off the second floor. But then he added little corbels and trim detail underneath, almost like a pergola. And at the end of the day, I, on paper, I didn't love it. But when I see it here, it blends perfectly. You don't even really notice it. In fact, you probably wouldn't have noticed it unless I said something. Wrapping up the siding in the next couple days. You can never go wrong with white and black. <clears throat> Classic. Really what we're trying to do is we're trying to widen the driveway because the driveway was never really in the right spot and it wasn't parallel off of the garage. This thing's amazing. Good job, huh? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Heart of Oak is brought to you by Timberland Pro. Always do, never die. By Pella Windows, perfectly beautiful. And by Cam Appliance. Make your next appliance a Cam Appliance.